Hi everybody, it's Thomas here from Thomas Fitzgerald Photography and today I want to give you a quick tutorial on editing an image in Capture One. So what I thought I would do is I would take an image from start to finish and show you kind of my whole editing process and along the way uh, you'll get to see some of the tools in Capture One in action and uh, hopefully you might learn something along the way as well. Okay, so I have this image here. It's a it's a landscape image, and I shot it in a local park. It's a nice little waterfall, and this was a long exposure shot. And frankly, it's a bit meh. <laughs> so when I was there, I kind of had this vision of kind of this moody forest atmosphere, and the result is kind of flat and boring and dull. And obviously, that's not something that I would use because, as I said, it's a bit meh. <laughs> okay, and that's the technical term meh. Okay, so, but we have some potential here and with a little bit of tweaking, I think we can make this into a nice moody image. So basically what I want to do is I want to kind of create a kind of a, a kind of a dark and mysterious forest feel. And I want to maybe bring out the reds and some of the leaves and the oranges and kind of contrast that with the green and the water as well. So let me dive right in and we're going to start by, I'm just going to bring the exposure down a little just so that it's a little bit darker. And then I'm going to bring up the contrast a bit, so you can see already we're, we're a bit better. Now we've got a little bit of clipping going on, so I'm going to turn the exposure warning on, just as you can see up here. And I'm in Capture 120, so I'm going to use the new highlight and white slider, so that should get rid of some of that. And it's not got all of it, so it's probably actually just completely clipped. So I'm not going to worry about getting rid of all of the clipped highlights because we're actually going to darken this down a bit anyway. So I'm going to turn the exposure warning back off because that's just a bit distracting. So the next thing I want to do is I'm going to tweak the color balance and the color temperature. So I'm going to pop over to the color tab and right at the top here we're going to just we're going to warm the image up a bit so I'm going to bring it up to not too far, I don't want to go too far. So just ever so slightly warming up and you can see our leaves now are a bit more orange. And what I will do now is I'm going to go down to the color editor and what I want to do is I want to increase the saturation of the oranges and the reds. Um, it's actually mostly oranges. And I just want to make these a bit redder as well. So I'm going to drag the hue slider down and there we have some nice kind of, we have some nice strong reds going on in the image. So that's much more impactful and we now have a, a quite a bit of contrast going on here between the kind of orangey reds of the leaves and the water and then kind of the greens surrounding it. And I'm actually going to tweak the greens as well. So I'm going to go to the green swatch and we just bring up our saturation a little. Maybe bring the lightness down because we want we don't want the greens to overpower it either. Okay, so the next thing I want to do is I want to create kind of, I want to bring the attention into this area here. So I'm going to create a vignette and I'm going to do this in two ways. So first of all, I'm just going to use the vignette tool. So if you go back to the exposure tab and down the bottom, you'll see vignette and we'll just drag that down a bit. So that automatically focuses the attention in on the water and kind of this area here. But uh, I also want to kind of just do it in more of an oval shape like this. So, And to do this, we're going to use another layer. So I'm going to, I want a radial um, gradient mask. So in Capture One, if you don't have any additional layers other than the background layer, uh, you can create a new layer just by dragging it with one of the mask tools. Now this only works if you don't have any other layers currently present. Uh, otherwise you have to add the layer mask first because you, if you use one of these tools, you'll overwrite whatever uh, layers currently selected. So I'm going to drag out the radial gradient like this. Okay, so we just want a nice oval shape and then I'm just going to rotate it and drag it a bit more and then maybe bring it up here a little. Okay, so now we've created our layer and what we want to do is I'm just going to drop the exposure down for this layer. So that's kind of darkening everything in a bit more. Okay, and then I'm just going to go back to our background layer. In fact, I'll label this vignette. Okay, so I'm going to go back to our background layer and I'm going to tweak a few more things. So I'm going to bring up the clarity a little. Okay, 
and bring up structure a bit as well, so that just kind of gives us a bit of fine detail going on. Okay. So I'm going to go back and I want to do a little bit more tweaking on the colors. So the first thing I want to do is I'm going to use the color balance tool and I'm just going to put a little bit of green into the shadows. Just a small bit. Because um, it just kind of balances out. We're kind of getting a bit overboard with the reds here. Okay. The other thing we have going on here is the water here has tinted slightly yellow because we've warmed the image up a bit and we don't really want that. Uh, what I want to do is kind of keep that kind of cool. So I'm going to use, go back to the color editor and I'm going to go to the advanced tab and we can actually just make a selection here. So use this little um, eyedropper icon and just drag it across the water here and you can see that's we've now created a swatch um, with just this selection and all I'm going to do is just drop the saturation of that down. So now we, our water is still kind of nice and pure. Okay. And I think maybe it's got a little too dark now. So I'm going to go back and just tweak the shadows slightly. So i just bring the shadows up a little bit. We don't want too much because then it'll kind of ruin, ruin the whole moodiness. And maybe try the black slightly actually. Okay, and then on our overall layer, we can bring the exposure down another little bit on our vignette layer, I mean, sorry. Okay, so this is where we started. And now here is our nice moody image. So it's still not quite right, so I'm just going to bring the saturation up a little. And go back to our color editor and tweak our colors a little more. So go back to the basic tab and go to our orange and I'm going to drag, I'm going to bring the saturation of the red right up and maybe make it a bit more red. I'm trying to find the balance between taking it too far because we don't want it to look too fake. Um, so like if the reds start to get a bit uh, overly saturated, it'll start to look a bit uh, weird. Um, but that's not too bad. Okay, so I'm just, I might have gone a bit too far with the vignette. I think maybe we need just a little bit more green in the shadows. Okay, so that's not bad. Uh, I think that's kind of more or less where I want it. Um, and as you can see, if I just go and show you the before, so there is before and there's after. You can see it's now a much more atmospheric image and uh, it's a lot better than where we started. Um, and it's one of those things that <laughs> I'm terrible for keep tweaking things. So like I could be playing around with this for a while until I get it exactly right. Um, I did work on this before. So let me just show you the one that I did earlier in the spirit of all good baking shows. Uh, so more or less the same. Um, I think the brightness levels are a bit different and it's still a bit of green coming on the water, which I kind of like. Uh, although in this, the one I just did, um, kind of the leaves are a bit better down here. But yeah, so that's, you can decide which you think is the best. Um, but yeah, so that is just a quick tutorial on how to take a fairly flat, boring image and make it a lot more interesting using Capture One. Um, I hope you found this useful. If you want some more Capture One videos, I have quite a few now. And uh, check out the Capture One playlist and the link will be in the description below. And please like, share and subscribe. And if you want more exclusive content, check out my Patreon page. And again, the link will be in the description below. And thanks for watching and see you next time.